Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The Mexican Consulate and the Mexican Cultural Institute welcomes you to the jazz concert, a tribute to Manuel Esperón, performed by Abraham Barrera Quartet and the International Friendship Ensemble. To begin this program, I would like to introduce Consul General of Mexico, Ambassador Reina Torres Mendivil, who will address to the audience some words. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you uh, for being here. Welcome, everyone. I am particularly happy tonight because I love music. We all Mexicans love music. And yes, and we couldn't end this year of celebrations in which we celebrated the 300th anniversary of the city of San Antonio and the 50th anniversary of the Cultural Institute without music. And I think it's the perfect event to close our activities this year. So we are very grateful uh, with, with, with many of our partners and stakeholders. Of course, we thank Jorge Canavati, who's the mastermind of all what you're gonna see tonight. Um, <laughs> of course, we are extremely happy and, 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 and uh, we appreciate the, the partnership and the support of the sponsors. Uh, the city of San Antonio, of course, you are gonna hear from Sherry Dolahashi in a few minutes. Trinity University, which we know that all the uh, members of Trinity, the Trinity family also love music. Um, Delta Aeromexico, and I want to um, mention, of course, La Familia, de nuestro querido compositor Manuel Esperón, la viuda de don Manuel Esperón, la señora doña Lilia Barrera García Alba, who is the widow of Manuel Esperón. For us, it's such an honor to have the family of Maestro Manuel Esperón here tonight. So thank you very much for being here. I, um, I'm not going to guess, I'm going to ensure that you're going to have an amazing evening. I am pretty certain that you will enjoy the music that is going to be performed tonight. And um, with any, any further comments, once again, I want to reiterate how grateful I am to have all of you here. Hopefully, I'm going to see more of you in our programming for the next year for the Cultural Institute. So thank you. Thank you very much again. Thank you. I'd like to introduce you to uh, Sherry Dolashaki. She's the chief protocol at the city of San Antonio. Good evening. Buenas noches. Muchas gracias, Estela. Uh, it is uh, an honor for me to be here tonight, especially because of where I'm standing. The Mexican Cultural Institute holds a very special place in my heart. I think I look at, out at the audience, at many of you, and I know that many of you feel the same way that I do. Uh, many of us, uh, our lives here in San Antonio on the cultural front have been touched in many ways by the events, activities, the richness that the Mexican Cultural Institute has brought to our community, to the lives of our families and our friends in San Antonio. My first uh, interaction with the Mexican Cultural Institute goes back to 1987 when I first came to San Antonio. And that's when I really learned about the history of this organization. And I actually, many people don't know this, but I uh, was working at the UNAM, at the National Autonomous University of Mexico at that time. And I took on a research of the Mexican institutions historically, and I was able to trace back the Mexican Cultural Institute, the UNAM. And that's when I learned about this wonderful, wonderful, rich history. Uh, in the case of the UNAM, going back to the end of World War II, and the Mexican Cultural Institute, of course, aligning with 1968 and the World Fair that came to San Antonio. And of course, the rest is history. I mean, 50 years have gone by. It has been 50 years in which we have seen a real evolution in Hemisphere Park. We've seen a real change, a transformation. And here we are again witnessing new transformation in, in this park. 
But one thing that seems to be at the core and the center here is this cultural, vibrant um, life that the Mexican government brings to us and has continued to offer ever since 1968. I truly value uh, this for me as a treasure. Uh, again, I'm sure that many of you, and I see many faces of people who have come to the events over the years, over and over again, would agree with me that this really is a treasure. We are very fortunate. I, for those who may not be as familiar with the Mexican Cultural Institute, this was the first Mexican Cultural Institute the Mexican government had outside Mexico in the world when it opened up in 1968. Now we can talk about a number of institutes around the world, but it started here, and it was a, a cultural embassy. So San Antonio has that very, very special place. Again, when we talk about uh, the use of culture in diplomacy, it really is real. And San Antonio does and has and continues to enjoy a very, very special relationship with Mexico. It is with that in mind that the city of San Antonio, through the Department of Arts and Culture, was very honored and uh, to, to sponsor and underwrite this concert tonight, honoring this 50th anniversary of this wonderful organization. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador, for your words, and thank you, Sherry, for your words. You're very nice. Now, I would like to introduce to you uh, Mr. Jorge Canavati, which all of you know. Uh, he's the organizer and coordinator of this major event and our Master of Ceremonies. Please come to the mic. Thank you. My name is Jorge Canavati, and uh, tonight I have the cap of KRTU as the host of Jazz in Mexico, and uh, it is a pleasure to be in such beautiful surroundings with such wonderful people. Thank you. We still have some words, though, from some of our sp uh, sponsors as our friends from Trinity University. Would you like to say something, please? Yeah, our friends from Trinity, come on up. And uh, Thank you. <laughs> So uh, uh, thank you very much uh, for, for this opportunity to, to thank uh, our sponsors. Uh, as you know, Trinity University has uh, many loves, but of, of those things that we really, really are passionate about is jazz. As you know, uh, it's the home of KRTU, and the home of K uh, KRTU is the home of jazz in San Antonio, and also uh, the study of Mexico, uh, Latin America, and Spain. So um, uh, the MAS program, one of the, the biggest programs in, at Trinity University, is uh, we have our, the, the, our founder, Dr. Arturo Madrid, here with us. So it's a great pleasure to have him here, too. And so this is a great opportunity for us to, to combine two of our greatest loves, right? The study of Mexico and Mexican uh, culture and the, the, the love of jazz. So thank you, Jorge, for making this possible. And I want to thank also the city and uh, the, the ambassador for making this possible. Thank you very much. It was very important for Trinity, for Dr. Daniel Anderson, the president, uh, who could not be with us tonight, regretfully, but he was very incisive in being a part of this program because he really wanted to do something for Mexico for the 50th anniversary of this lovely place and for the Mexico celebrations, the closing celebrations of SA 300. So our friends from Trinity uh, are uh, representing Dr. Anderson tonight. And uh, where is Juan Antonio? Where are you? I can't see you. Your blonde hair doesn't let me. There you are. Come on up. Samco, San Antonio Friendship. You have to do this. You're the new president. Come on. I know you're running for the White House in 2022. You got to come up. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. All I will say is if you're not familiar with the work of the San Antonio Mexico Friendship Council, we raise money to support this institute and to carry out other um, cultural events and the social events um, that celebrate our community's relationship with Mexico. So Jorge, thank you for the opportunity. Um, in, in, enjoy the evening and, 
and thank you for being here. And uh, watch my wife go look for the life insurance policies very quickly. And uh, well, what a privilege for me right now to, uh, it, is, it is really an emotional moment because we are privileged and honored and blessed to have the widow of the man we celebrate tonight, Mrs. Lilia Beatriz Garcia Alba, uh, Viuda de Manuela Esperon, and she's gonna give some words to you, they, she just arrived with her family from Mexico City yesterday just to be with us tonight. And this is a treat like nothing before. Before. <laughs> Greetings. Bueno, antes que nada, muy buenas noches a, a todos ustedes y muchas, muchas gracias por estar aquí con nosotros, por acompañarnos, por acompañar a la música mexicana y además, bueno, en especial yo sí, y bueno, a nombre de mi familia y mí misma y a nombre de, del maestro Manuel Esperón, darle las gracias al, a la, antes que nada, a ustedes por estar aquí, a la cónsul... Eh, Muchísimas gracias, eh, Reina Torres Mendivil, al Centro Cultural Mexicano y muy especialmente a, bueno, a todos los patrocinadores que hicieron eh, posible este proyecto y muy especialmente al maestro Abraham Barrera, que se encargó de hacer unos arreglos maravillosos uh, de género jazz de 14 canciones de mi esposo y que las ha presentado en diferentes lugares de la República Mexicana y en algún lugar del extranjero. Y ahora, especialmente aquí en San Antonio, una ciudad que para nosotros, para toda la familia, guarda muy bonitos recuerdos, porque nosotros veníamos mucho cuando mi esposo eh, estaba con nosotros y aún ahora todavía eh, seguimos viniendo porque la ciudad de San Antonio les, 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 tiene algo muy, muy especial, yo creo, para todos los mexicanos, pero en especial para la familia Esperón, que aquí, está presente, aquí están presentes mis hijas, este, Flor de Azalia, que lleva el nombre de una de las canciones de mi esposo. ¿Te quieres para hija, por favor? Eh, mi otra hija, Maigualida, que también tiene el nombre de otra canción de mi esposo. Mi nieta Valentina, ese sí no, no lleva el nombre de canción de mi esposa, eso no. Manuelito Esperón, chico, también. A ver, mi amor, parece de las gracias. Párate. Y he de decirles que todos ellos continúan con la, con la eh, generación de la música en la familia. Eh, mi hija toca el contrabajo, el piano, el chico toca el, la batería, el violín, la otra chica toca la trompeta, la otra chica toca el piano. Total, creo que tenemos muchos artistas en la familia. La única que no toca ningún instrumento y que canta en el baño soy yo, nada más. <risa> nada más, pero bueno. Nada más si quisiera hacerles una pequeña, pequeñísima semblanza de la trayectoria del maestro Manuel Esperón. Él nació en México, como ustedes, algunos de ustedes saben, en, el, en 1911 y falleció en, casi al cumplir seis meses para los 100 años. Le faltan seis meses para cumplir 100 años. Eh, murió, falleció en el 2011. Eh, él compuso muchísima música para películas. La mayoría de, la peli de las películas de la época de oro del cine mexicano la compuso Manuel Esperón, compuso, realizó, eh, entre canciones y música de fondo, 626 películas. Es el músico que mayor cantidad de películas del cine mexicano ha compuesto. Y canciones, obviamente, la mayoría de las canciones de Don Jorge Negrete, la mayoría de Pedro Infante también, fue el sastre musical de los dos y todo el que haya cantado, bailado o chiflado musicalmente en el cine lo hizo con Manuel Esperón. Él hizo los primeros arreglos para María y Orquesta que entraron al cine mexicano. Entonces ustedes imagínense una, una sala enorme con una, con una orquesta de 90 o de 80, 90 elementos, dos mariachis, 
eh, un trío, que eran las conchitas, generalmente las mujeres del de, trío de las conchitas, y el trío de hombres de los calaveras, que siempre acompañaban a don Jorge Negrete y obviamente mi esposo, siempre los llevaban en su película. Y hubo una película muy bonita que se llamó Tal para cual, donde él tuvo que hacer unos arreglos maravillosos y muy especiales, porque hizo el arreglo para la orquesta, para el mariachi, para, para los dos mariachis, para el trío de mujeres, el trío de hombres y cuatro cantantes. Eran Jorge Negrete, Luis Aguilar, eh, Rosa de Castilla y María Elena Márquez. Pero es un arreglo monumental ahí. Entonces ustedes se pueden, pueden, podrán imaginar cuánta gente él manejó y cuántos arreglos no hizo. Y eh, gracias a él se deben los grandes arreglos eh, para orquesta y, y, y mariachi. Y recibió casi todos los premios que se otorgan en México. Sería muy presuntuoso decir que casi que, que todos, porque nos faltan por ahí uno o dos. <ríe> Pero el, la mayor satisfacción para, para nosotros es que sus restos se van a la rotonda de los hombres ilustres, que es algo muy importante en, en México. Eso es algo con, con lo cual la familia Esperón está pues, muy, muy agradecida por este evento. Y bueno, ya nada más para terminar, muchísimas gracias. Espero que sigan apoyando nuestra música mexicana. Y en especial, como les comento al maestro eh, Abraham Barrera, muchísimas gracias porque esos arreglos maravillosos, pues solamente una gente que sabe música y que siente el cariño a México y a su música los puede hacer. Entonces, muchísimas gracias a todos. Perdón, pero vivo en Cuernavaca, es un lugar caliente y aquí me estoy muriendo de frío. <risa> Muchas gracias, señor. All right. Uh, Mrs. Esperón is very humble. She did not share with you the fact that, it, well, she told you that her family comes very often, came very often with Maestro Esperón to San Antonio. Mayor Cisneros gave an award to Maestro Esperón here in San Antonio in the late 80s, correct? Yes. Yeah. So there's a lot. And he was very incisive, very, very, he would push the mariachi to learn music. And as, as we, we, we just learned the mariachi, he introduced mariachi to film and he pushed them to learn music so they would, it would flow better in his compositions. He also worked with Walt Disney. Remember Los Tres Caballeros? That music was his. So what a great evening. Before we go forward, I just, I really would like to recognize Corey Cook, the music director. Where are you, Corey? Here you are, Corey from, from KRTU. He's here. We had a, we had an interview, we had an interview today at 11 a.m. with the, with the, with the band and uh, we had a lot of calls. An unsung hero who's in the back, who's going to do great magic tonight, uh, who's running all the operations, and he's going to be a magician tonight, Miguel Fonseca, who always supports him. He's way up there in the back. You, 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 you never see him, but you feel him. And of course, my dear friend, Rosana, where are you, sweetie? Where are you? Where I can't see you from, from, from Trinity, because with her, there you are, with her, is with Rosanas with whom we began this project from scratch, from zero, the inception. And, uh, and, and tonight is your night, you know, because we worked very hard together. Don Jose, happy birthday. This is your wife's gift to you. And I have one last short story to tell you before I introduce Abraham Barrera and the band. Uh, and the, the, remember the Birdman film that the score was, was, was drums from, from Antonio Sanchez, Mexico City's greatest jazz drummer? Well, he was here last year, and uh, my wife and I went. I invited Ambassador Torres, and uh, it was a great event, and we got to meet Antonio Sanchez, and you're asking yourselves, how is that related to what we're doing? A lot. We exit, we say goodnight. Daisy and I find Ambassador Torres at the corner of Houston Street and she says to me, you know, I want to do something really special for the, for the 50 years of the Institute, really special. And Mr. Motormouth, who can never keep his mouth shut, we got it covered, don't worry. I had already seen um, Abraham's project, this project, and I went to see Ambassador Torres and I said, I would I want you to look at this because I think this is fantastic for this wonderful anniversary. And she says, I like it. 
I call Abraham who was recording, who was in the middle of recording this. This is the soundtrack. Tonight is a premiere. And uh, I said, ready to go. And it, this has been a year in the making tonight. This is very historic. It's very special. And, uh, and it's very special because you're here. And with that, I wish to introduce Abraham Barrera, the arranger and musical director for tonight's performance. Abraham. For me, Manuel Esperón is uh, the great composer in the 20th century. And the, your melodies, it's a great paint. Um, for me, in spirit, in spirit for the this is a chamber and a lyric chamber orchestra, and this quartet, and harp, acoustic guitar, and flute and clarinet, drums, and double bass and piano and melodion. Uh, for me, it's an honor uh, to share this this is music and the featuring and my friends it's a uh, adult time Aaron Cruz in double bass and Rodrigo Neftali guitar Okay, and Joe. It's a binational orchestra. The rhythm section is the top jazz artists from Mexico. And uh, Joe Caplo, pinch hitter, he's now Mexican. You see him in the back there? <laughs> you came from him. Our, our, this is the international friendship ensemble that we blessed. These are young artists, as you can see, from, from San Antonio and Austin. So this is a binational orchestra that we set up. <laughs> that, and this is thanks to the associate producer, Emilio Álvarez, who helped me. Yeah. yeah. Emilio helped me set up this ensemble. So what a great evening. And thank you. She's all yours. Thank you on all the sponsors for it's possible in this concert. Thank you so much. And thank you, Beatriz Garcia. Thank you for staying here and your family and parents. Thank you.